Many things are associated with Britain, but few are as popular as fish and chips. And this is London's oldest surviving fish and chip shop, the Rock and Soul Place, founded in 1871, which makes it almost as old as the dish itself. They're amazing, really, aren't they? You've had a hard week, so you treat yourself to fish and chips. When you look at chips in uh, McDonald's, for example, the American sort of French fries, very, very thin and whatever. I mean, they're, they're not chips, so I wouldn't eat those. No, no. Reminds me of going to the seaside or being a little girl. Um, it's quite comforting. Fish and chips is definitely British, 100%. Fish and chips is traditionally something you buy at a takeout eatery. A portion here costs about 10 euros. The way they're made hasn't changed much over the years. The way we do it and prepare all our things is very much like from the traditional old ways. And it's very simple. Um, fish has to be the freshest, potatoes have to be the best, and use the best grade. When you haven't got too many ingredients, you've got to make sure each one is the best. The fish is coated in batter and deep fried at 185 degrees Celsius for just four or five minutes. The fried chipped potatoes are sprinkled with vinegar and salt. As for takeout, they're traditionally wrapped in paper. They used to recycle the newspaper, but the, they found out that the ink on the newspapers wasn't good and if you, they, you know, it transferred to the food. So about 20 years ago, they banned it. We still have the paper that they use for newspapers, but there's no print on it. Fish and chips was long considered working class food. It was often sold at stalls or cold from a cart. The first fish and chip shop opened in London in 1860. Back then, as today, many people bought their fish at Billingsgate Market, Britain's biggest wholesale fish market, with around 25,000 tons of fish changing hands each year. Mark Petru has written a history of fish and chips to explain its success. Because it was affordable food for the masses, um, it, it was something that uh, wasn't rationed during the wars. It was something that um, was, was readily available. As, as an island, we um, grew our own potatoes, we caught our own fish, and we had coal in the side of the hills. So to produce fish and chips um, as, as a country was a very easy thing for us to do. Different fish used to be served in different regions. Nowadays, three species dominate the market. Okay. So this is the most popular fish being sold in UK fish and chip shops. This is cod. Um, and then uh, the, the second most popular is haddock. It's got this black line down it here. And the third most popular is place. 200 million portions of fish and chips are sold each year in Britain. A quarter of the potatoes grown in the country end up as chips. There is even a national federation of fish fryers. It's an industry that, that employs 60,000 people just selling fish and chips. And then you look at the fishermen and the farmers and, and, every, and everything else that, that, that goes into our industry. It's a very important part of, of our economy. Fish and chips is no longer the food of poor people. And it is not only served as takeout. Jay Shiki is an upmarket fish and seafood restaurant in Covent Garden, where celebrities also come to eat. And they also gladly eat good old fish and chips. In fact, it's one of the most popular meals there. Fish and chips is a big nostalgia trip for a lot of people. It takes them back to their childhood. And people generally love fish and chips, and especially if they're done very, very well. Whether posh or plain, eaten on the run or in a swank restaurant, fish and chips remain a pillar of British cuisine. <laughs>